When Her Majesty fiddles with her purse while talking to you, you'll soon be history. When the Queen travels, she brings a supply of her own blood along, just because. When Her Majesty's handbag doesn't contain a pen, a lipstick, a mirror, her reading glasses, and some mints, heads could roll. She is the most interesting queen in the world. Have you ever wondered why the queen always carries her purse with her wherever she goes? According to royal biographer Nancy Bedell Smith, there's a practical explanation to this mysterious phenomenon. In her handbag, the queen always has a pen, lipstick, a mirror, her reading glasses, and some mints. But wait! There's more to a simple purse than that. In the queen's hands, it turns into a sort of social indicator which Her Majesty uses at different events and gatherings. That's how she lets the staff know her intentions. For example, when the queen is talking to someone and, in the process, starts to shift her purse from one hand to the other, it means she's ready to finish the discussion. This gesture is so subtle that if you were talking to Her Majesty, you wouldn't even notice. Someone would just come up to you and politely mention that, let's say, the Archbishop of Canterbury would like to talk to you. Also, if you were having a conversation with the Queen and she put her purse on the floor, well, that would be an ominous sign for you. This action means that Her Majesty isn't enjoying your little chat and needs a lady-in-waiting to give her a hand. When the Queen puts her purse on the dinner table, She's subtly informing everyone that she wants the event to be wrapped up within 5 minutes. But the one thing I hope you'll never see if you ever have a discussion with the queen is the ring-twisting thing she sometimes does. This gesture means Her Majesty needs an immediate rescue. You didn't think those are all the queen's little quirks, did you? Let me tell you about some other even more unusual ones. When Her Majesty travels, she's typically accompanied by as many as 34 people, including her private secretary and his deputy, their secretaries, two dressers, a hairdresser, two ladies-in-waiting, a valet, press officers, eight police bodyguards, the foreign secretary and their people, and many others. Queen Elizabeth is officially recognized as one of the most well-traveled heads of state in history. Surely, she must have a tip for how to avoid jet lag. Rumor has it that the queen copes with jet lag with the help of barley sugar. It gets boiled down in the form of sweets and helps to alleviate the sleepiness most travelers suffer from after long flights. No idea if it works, but look at the queen. Hey, it seems barley sugar is an effective jet lag remedy. One more proof that Her Majesty likes traveling in comfort is the fact that she drinks only her Earl Grey tea and only from her monogrammed kettle. She has both these things in her baggage wherever she goes. On top of that, she never heads off for another country without her pine-scented soaps, Herod's sausages, her personal hot water bottle, and framed family photos. Also, the Queen seems to be the only member of the royal family who has never taken a scheduled flight. She only flies by private jets. As for the rest of the family, there's a chance that you might see one of them on a commercial flight, probably even in economy class. For example, they say that Prince Harry flew economy from Memphis to Dallas in 2014, and the Duke of Cambridge was once spotted on a Ryanair flight to Glasgow. But back to Her Majesty. The Queen never travels anywhere without a Royal Navy doctor whose task, among others, is to research the hospitals in the area in advance. The thing is that the countries the Queen visits might have problems with a reliable blood supply. That's why both Her Majesty and the Prince of Wales bring packs of their own blood wherever they go. On top of that, their personal doctor is always nearby with all kinds of emergency medicine, including a portable defibrillator. How shocking! The Queen frowns upon open windows in Buckingham Palace. Well, to be precise, only the ones that decorate the outside of the building. The problem is that when you open those windows, you can ruin the view of the palace. Thus, the windows on that side can be opened only at particular hours. 
the Queen's extensive wardrobe has long become the stuff of legends. Not only does Her Majesty prefer brilliant, vibrant colors and classic styles, but she also can't appear in public in the same outfit or even color two times in a row. That's why there's a special journal where it's noted when and where the Queen wore this or that outfit. By the way, not to be confused, each of these outfits has its own number. And how about this one? Queen Elizabeth II doesn't need, and doesn't have, a passport. Well, it makes sense since all British passports are issued in her name and on her authority. When she passes an identity check leaving or returning to the country, she just needs to provide immigration authorities with her full name, address, age, gender, nationality, and place of birth. And she probably doesn't have to remove her belt and shoes to get through this security x-ray machine. One more paradox is that Her Majesty loves raspberries, but won't eat them in public. The explanation for this mystery is simple. Tiny raspberry seeds often get stuck in teeth, and that's unacceptable for the queen. For the same reason, blackberries are never served at official receptions either. As for tomatoes and cucumbers, their seeds get removed in advance. Do you like ice cubes in your summer drinks? Well, the queen doesn't. She hates the sound ice cubes make inside a glass. At the same time, if they're not ice cubes but ice balls, Her Majesty doesn't have anything against them. She finds ice shaped in balls much more musical. The Queen has a female servant who breaks in her new shoes for her. Mind you, Her Majesty has been wearing footwear of the same brand and style for many years. And still, she dislikes the discomfort new shoes may bring. In her handbag, Along with other necessary things, the queen always has a hook. She attaches the hook under tables every time she needs to hang her bag. This prevents some confusion, since placing her bag on the floor would mean she wants to leave. Now, are any of your habits similar to the queen's? Let me know down in the comments. If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But hey, don't go anywhere just yet! We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. All you have to do is pick the left or right video, click on it, and enjoy! Stay on the Bright Side of Life!